now be really res be respected. I like Lupe Fiasco. I like mm -hmm. T.I. I like Kendrick Lamar. I like Spitters. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I mean, I like Lupe because he goes against the grain. You know, he ain't on the radio every day, but if you listen to his lyrics, if you go into his album, he's dope. Yeah. I like Lil Wayne. I, 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 Wayne is dope. Because you know why? He was hot boys. They put in their time. They started. He was that little nigga. He didn't know he was going to be the star. He's still around there, even though uh, uh, Birdman convinced him that he's his son. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Birdman, like, you the star. You my son. You know that, right? <laughs> you know, the little nigga's dope. I mean, you know, he's dope. He, you know, I mean, I like a lot of cats. I just want, I don't, I just want to see motherfuckers keep this shit going forever. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but there's a lot, a lot more to it. Let's keep doing this. One question. more question. Only one more question. Well, I won. Okay. Let's do five. Okay. <laughs> five. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you doing this. This is very important to the culture. I just really want to get your perspective. Um, I think growing up, I think generations, the cream rose to the crop as far as program directors, you know, really supporting lyrical and people that understood art. And for this generation now, it's basically like the celebration of, you know, the easiest track or the dumbest thing or, you know, whatever's quick, you know what I'm saying, something quick. And I just want to get your pr perspective on, like, how do you feel like art can really rise again as a yeah. culture and not just this rap gossip shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is? The, the new rapper has a problem, which is the game has changed tremendously. You know, I made, I sold six consecutive golden platinum records without ever being on the radio. Why? Because people would seek out the music, right? I was talking to a 21-year-old girl the other day. I said, well, I sold a lot of records when people went to the record store. You know what she said? What's, What's a record, record store? Oh. Oh. I said, you know, like Tout, no. Like, where, no. FY, uh, Sam Good. No. She said, like, Best Buy? <laughs> I said, really, they'd rather sell you a refrigerator, right? <laughs> but nowadays, the new artist, underground, means free. Now, radio is run by Clear Channel, which is a corporation. So if you're not fitting into that vortex of what Clear Channel is playing, and you're a new artist, it's going to be hard to be heard. Now, the kid want to eat. So he, even though he doesn't want to go pop, he's getting sucked into this vortex of pop to get out there. I can't blame it on them. They want to eat. It's just not as many. The youth aren't seeking out music anymore. The reason you can't seek it out is because it's so diluted. There's so many rappers. How the fuck can you find a good rapper? So when, I, when we was coming out, you had to get to a record label, which was a bar, that would let you make a record. So now that you can make a record, people say, well, damn, if they got a record, they must be decent. But that's not the case anymore. So now it's kind of like a, a, a paradox. Kids, kids that want to be skillful and talented, it's very hard. Even Eminem had to have Rihanna singing on his record to get that boost out there. So we're kind of living in a pop era. By default, it's pop. You know, and, and that's just what it is. And pop was the enemy of hip hop. You know, we fuck pop. We're not doing it. We're going against the grain. Unfortunately, me and NWA and KRS One and Ice Cube and Ghetto Boys, we were able too short. We were able to go against the grain, and the rap audience would buy it without having to hear it on the radio. I I, I don't know what to say to y'all. I'm not mad at you, but I I mean, what the fuck? Shit fucked up. <laughs> Shit fucked up. Question number two. Hard. I mean, you can figure it out. I mean, I only, the reason I only had those two is because I'm only really familiar with a few female MCs. I'm cool with Lil' Kim. I'm cool with Queen Latifah. You know, a lot of the other ones are more underground chicks, you know what I'm saying? So I couldn't really get at them. Queen's making movies. Lil' Kim was off someplace. I couldn't get her, you know. But it's difficult, you know. It's an aggressive art form. So the trick is for a female to do it without becoming masculine. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard edge to do it. But I say, you know, rap is a, rap is a vocal delivery. Hip-hop is a culture. So you hear a lot of people rapping that don't know nothing about this movie. You know, you look at, uh, what's her name, Kesha? 
Woke up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. This bitch don't know shit about hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vocal delivery. It's not the culture. If I was if I was a female right now, it depends on what you want to do. What type of artist do you, are you? Are you trying to change the world, move something? I don't rap, but I have a best friend who does. What's and she you. trying to do? The question is, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to move something, or are you just trying to be pop? If you be pop, just make dance records. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. You know. You know. I mean, it's it's up to you. And I can't in, instill hardness into people. If you a pop nigga, do pop shit. Next question three. Right there. Where? Oh, the, the lady with the camera? Yes, yes ma'am. I just wanted to know, how accountable do you hold record labels for the current state of hip-hop right no, now? No, record labels have nothing to do with it. Right, so there's how do you a, survive in a, in a game without majors, or do you go indie? Like, what do you do from that point? I mean, this is a conspiracy. People think record labels care. They don't. Record labels are just loan companies that loan you money to make a record. If you can sit on the toilet and take a shit, if people will buy it. They'll be behind you. They'll be at the concert like, wait until he takes that shit. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. A record company loans you money with the intent on making a return. They don't tell us what to rap about. They don't care. Anything record companies say, do, can, do you sound like Justin Bieber? They like try to chase what's already hitting. They're not original. If you listen, every rapper in there said the one word, original. Mm -hmm. What's original? That means look and see what everyone else is doing and don't do that. <laughs> right? Original. Name a rapper that's close to Ice T. It's similar. That had a perm. Still today. Dragon Mix. Who? Sugar Free. Okay. Sugar Free. Drew Down. Yeah. But guess what's out? I was first. So I'm the original. The original. <laughs> After the original, it can only be a copy or a replica. Wow. You feel me? So those are my boys, though. I'm not dissing. I'm just saying you want that O next to your G. You want that realness. Step away from the crowd. Have the courage. Step away.